Hello Libra, it's Milady from Milady's Way Terry and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 10th through 17, 2017. The cards I am using today are uh, Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book. Let's see what somebody is letting go. So somebody thinking about letting go but somebody is trying to hold the person back so one person want to leave and another person don't want them to go but make sure uh use my cleo cards i reached out the book to ensure you get your full message thank you everybody for like share subscribing and sending up personal readings and if you want a personal reading check in the description box below email me we can set something up um don't forget to subscribe okay oh so, I'm feeling like somebody is trying to make somebody sacrifice something that there's there, that that's theirs. And then they threaten them with, I'm going to leave you if you don't do it, okay? Mm -mm -mm. I just cut, but I just didn't feel like it was good enough. Alright, so maybe that's the situation. Somebody feeling like it's not, they're not good enough. But, um... Your partner is not sexually attracted to you anymore, okay? But general reading, it can go the other way around also. Mm. So whoever is not attracted anymore, they've been telling the other person over and over and over. So your partner has been telling you that they don't want you no more. Sorry, I'm about to fix the camera. They don't want you no more. They don't like you no more because of some whatever certain reason, you know? Mm. I think they're telling you this because you're in and out and in and out or you're telling them that because they're in and out so somebody don't want to be with the other person and is not sexually attracted to them anymore because they're always leaving and it's like a where you going situation you know why you always going you must not care about me and it just turned somebody completely off okay Libra 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 mmm so, I'm feeling like this might have something to do with their friends at work. Maybe their friends at work. All right, I gotta clarify this because I don't, I don't get how this get in here. What is this sisterhood about? What is this sisterhood about? I don't know. I'm just feeling like this. All right, we're going to take it from the top. All right, so we got somebody is not sexually attracted to somebody anymore. They've been telling them over and over, and it's because they are in and out. So the situation has got to be work-related situation. So I'm sort of feeling like, somebody is going in and out with somebody at work so maybe maybe somebody's leaving you or you're leaving somebody to date somebody at work or, or back and forth or you're listening to somebody at work and is getting you to leave your per pe person but I feel like if it's just the situation for some of you that um you're leaving somebody to be with somebody at work or your partner is leaving you to be with somebody that they work with it's only a material gain situation the person at work is using them for gifts you know but they keep leaving you for them but the person that they're leaving you for keep using them for money okay so if this secret hasn't come out yet it's gonna come out Probably by the next full moon. Yeah, so this little love affair thing is a secret. You just don't. Just don't know what's going on yet. But this whole relationship, the only upright card. Is, um, yeah, it's the only upright card. It's, it's draining you emotionally. All this stuff going on. I feel like you can feel this other person around your partner when they come back. Well, every time they come back to you when they on their long trip or whatever or whatever they're going to do. Wow. Okay, so 
long trip. They're coming back from the long trip, and it's emotionally draining you when they get around you. And I feel like maybe some of you just moved in with your partner, or some of you just moved, I mean, uh, traveled to see them. Yeah, of course, it's putting you in a dark place. All right, Cleo cards, read those straight out the books and ensure you get your full message. All right, what's going on? What's going on for the Libra, 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 Libra? July 10th through 17th, 2017, Libra. July 10th through 17th, 2017. Okay. Okay, let's read this. First, we have the Seven of Staffs. And that says, uh, Keep your strengths and beliefs, and beliefs. Even when others challenge you, you're right. Even though you're outnumbered, you will win. So, I think in the end, this person is going to choose you. But the realization of that is it, it's like they're going to do it again. So it's up to you. You let them do it once, you let them do it again. All right. What do we have here? The Queen of Swords. All right. And it's reverse. Unresolved issues, revenge, and misdirected anger. So... Yeah, I'm feeling like maybe when your partner comes back from being with this other person that he goes to travel or she goes to travel to see, they come back and they're mad at you because they didn't get what they paid for. All right? That's what I'm getting there. So we got the queen of staffs. All right. So a very strong but loving person, very responsible and caring individual. You can trust what this person says. So, I'm feeling like this you getting ran all over. Possibly. General reading. This could, this could be you too. So, that's the... Okay. So, this the... I think this is the distance person. The revenge and the little nasty. Because if you can use somebody for money, you're going to want revenge when that person leaves you. And here you go sitting at home waiting for this person to you know, come back and do the right thing. Or this could be your partner while you out messing with this little nasty dog. But, all right, Ace of Swords. I just don't like users. Users get on my nerves. All right, so the Ace of Swords reversed is a notice of new birth pregnancy. Increase of family by marriage or adoption. And relocation. Okay, so, woo, maybe this is the reason your partner came to you. Because you, you, you got pregnant. Or, I'm feeling like it could be, I mean, the, the reverse makes me feel like it's no good. So, it might have got the user. He might have got the user pregnant. But... Or you might have got pregnant by the user. Either way it goes. Uh, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Um, thank everybody for everything that they do. Um, make sure to subscribe. Have a nice week.